Hi there, I have seen too many pages on itch.io that look like this. Now there are some that look a bit better, <laughs> but they are nothing when you compare it to the possibility of my page. Now you may be wondering how I did all this. Animated backgrounds? Customizable fonts? Games that get bigger when you hover over them? I know what you're thinking, and no, I did not sell my soul to the devil. Instead, I'm using the dark magic of Custom CSS. But before we get to all of that complicated stuff, let's start out simple. Go to your profile and hit the edit theme button. Now you will notice on the left here a bunch of options which the more cleverly informed YouTubers I showed earlier were using. Stuff like background images, text color, fonts, and even a banner. And this is probably the easiest way to improve your profile. Just get a good background image, maybe a banner, and find some colors that work well together. And boom, you're further than most people on this platform. Also, please, just change the layout here from sidebar to grid. It just looks so much better. Please, thanks. Also, while you're here, you may notice that some of the projects here are hidden. For whatever reason, if you're working on a project that is hosted on the itch page of someone else, even if you worked on it and are listed as an admin, by default it is still hidden. I have no idea why this is a default, so you can just go and enable them yourselves. Okay, now that we have covered the basics, we can talk about Custom CSS. Basically, whenever there's text here, you can go to the HTML part of it, and add a bunch of dividers here. These will divide your text and images into certain sections, and then you can add classes, and then use those classes for your custom CSS. There are countless things you can do, stuff like background colors, alignment, animation, size, rotation, and so much more. All we have to do is specify what we want to change, and then give some values, like background color, padding, and maybe some stuff on the border. And boom, already your stuff looks like this. If you want to take it the extra step further, you can add a hover part here. And now whenever I hover over it, you can see that all these changes are applied. Now you could go very wild, but obviously I wouldn't suggest that because then your screen will look something like this and nobody wants to see this on your web page. But by only slightly changing the size and some other things, you can easily make your web page way more interactive. You can also, for example, procedurally create a custom background all you have to do is make it a certain color, change the opacity, and offset it a bit, and then you've got something aesthetic like this. The extra fun thing about this, though, is you can animate it. All you have to do is define some keyframes at the start and end and somewhere in the middle, and boom, you can rotate your background, for example. And this is all these look like. Here is, again, the custom profile text and a bunch of stuff to put in front of it. You can find the full documentation on a page like this in the link in the description. Also be wary that your website also works while well on the phone. You can also browse through all the possible fonts and find one that you really like for your page. This font, for example, is the one you'll see on my web page. Okay, well, how do you get it? Getting access to the custom CSS is not that hard, but it does require a couple steps. Itch has a CSS guide with a lot more detail. You can look at that with the link in the description. But basically, you're going to want to send an email to the itch.io team. And in your message, you want to explain what you want to do with custom CSS that can't be done with a normal itch.io editor. Because if a feature is asked for many times, then itch.io will just add it to the normal editor. Also, be sure to send a link to your account in your email. Now, it may take a bit, but before you know it, you'll have permanent access. And then you can do all the stuff I showed. The great thing is that if you're working in a team project, the whole team will have access to the custom CSS, as long as one person already has it enabled. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, but if you guys are interested in improving the looks of your games without putting like any effort at all, you can check out this video here.